bought this at an estate sale for under a dollar, sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price of $600. $22 into $650. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. And this one, there's one in this video that is going to have your socks across the room. I'm not kidding, it is incredible, incredible. And there's a little story behind it. So stay tuned for story time. So in this video, we are gonna talk about share your best March bolo. And I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you guys are not in my Facebook group, definitely go and join. But it basically says, share your best March bolo. And what I ask everybody in the Facebook group to do is to share a bolo with a screenshot, tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for, and I will put it in video format. Everybody is invited to share. So if you guys have not shared a bolo and you would like to, to have it featured in a video like this, go and share a bolo. All right, so the first one here says, I missed the January bolo post, but thought I would post this because it was a surprise bolo. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so good also. There's so many good ones in this. I picked this up at the Goodwill for $13. Sold it on best offer of $757. What? It took about nine months to sell. Who cares? I always say that if it takes a while to sell, I'm like, who cares? because if it's a big money bolo, I mean, $13 into 757, that is worth the wait. Nine months isn't too bad, actually. I had one offer of 500 and they did not pay. So it was packaged and ready to ship. The Disney mark was very small on the back. So I think some shoppers missed it. So let's take a look at this bolo. Right here it is. It is a vi uh, Disney villain Snow White Evil Queen 65th anniversary magic mirror replica. $757 plus shipping. And shipping is pricey, probably because of the insurance and probably had to be like double boxed and all of that. I mean, it's a mirror. Ooh, who likes to ship mirrors? Not me. Not me. I don't like any breakables, but... um. I don't mind like small figures and stuff like that, but big, ah, breakables, ah. Anyway, I paid $40 for these at an antique booth. I thought they were unique and cool. Sold within two weeks for a best offer of $120 plus shipping. These are adorable. Vintage 1965 Charlie Brown Linus plastic blow mold wall hanging display set. And this is what they look like. Super cute. So she did pay up a little bit for those at an antique booth, but sold them for 120 and sold them quick. Two weeks is fast. All right, so I went ahead and posted this. Somebody reached out to me on Instagram and they wanted to remain private and asked me to share this. Uh, first off, they were thanking me for my brooch video. I did a brooch video on unsigned jewelry that uh, brooches that sell for big money. This is what it looks like. And in that video, I shared a bolo of a piece that Noel Farm Girl Scavenger sold. And this is her YouTube channel. And she has a whole video on vintage jewelry where she digs deeper into the category. It's two or three hours long. It's a live show so people can ask questions. Definitely go check out that video. But this is what she wrote. Um, so I'm just posting, I cut and pasted what she wrote, okay? And I'm going to show you the picture of what she sold. It's just incredible. Here, um, let's see. Hi, Courtney. Thank you so much for your recent Bolo Buddies video on costume jewelry brooches. It led me to Farm Girl Scavenger Noel's recent YouTube video on costume jewelry and the high-end prices both you and she showed us. I decided to list an unusual vintage Crown Trafari fur clip. I got from my mother years ago as a gift. I listed the fur clip on eBay at auction with the buy it now option that works until the first auction bid is made. I thought my opening bid was crazy at $695 plus shipping. 
Within minutes, I got the deludged. Is that a word? Am I saying that right? With higher offers. I'm going to have to look that one up. I kept revising the auction, listing starting bid up so the highest offers wouldn't get shut down by a low auction bid before I made a deal. I finally got a $3,500 offer and I countered with a $3,900 plus shipping, all in about 15 minutes. The buyer accepted my counter and paid the full amount immediately. Thank you, Courtney Bolo Buddies, and thanks to Farm Girl Scavenger Noel for the great lessons learned. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this. I have done this same thing. If I list something at $50 on auction and I get an offer, a uh, buy it now offer of $150, I will also go in and sometimes edit my start price on the auction to 150. If I get an offer for 300, I'm going to do the same thing because I can. If they don't if they don't bid on the item, I have that option to up the price. That listing has no bids until it has bids. I can edit that auction. It is fair game. Um I mean some of you may not agree with that method. Let me know down in the comments. This is exactly what she did. Um, so basically, when somebody made her a higher offer than her um, start price, and it was a buy it now, she increased the start price. Does that make sense? So do you agree with this method or disagree? I'm guessing some of you are going to think it's wrong. But um, hey, if there's no bids, I, I say fair game. I've done it. Now, do I always do it? No, it depends on what the offers are coming in at. But um, if she had this listed at $695 and somebody offered her $2,000, you better believe I'm going to go in and I'm going to change that start price to $2,000 because I know that person is at least going to pay the $2,000. Now, what I'm wondering if I would have done something differently for this situation so what she did is somebody offered her $3,500 and she countered at $3,900. I'm not sure if I would have done that. I may have let the auction ride at this point. I don't know what the auction was at. I may have continued to just increase the auction price, honestly, because this could have sold for like $5,000. Who knows? I mean, she countered at $3,900 and they jumped all over it. So this is a Crown Trafari C1942 Fan Faux Pearl Fur Clip Brooch Alfred Felipe Design sold for $3,900 plus shipping. So a lot of variables coming into play with this auction. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys do? Um, what do you do? I mean, I, I do what she does. I have done what she does. I don't always do it, but I have. Um, and I'm not afraid to admit that. I feel like if if there's no bids, I can edit that start price. That's okay for me to do. My husband would probably say, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think he said that to me before. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. I mean, we're resellers and if it's worth it, it's worth it. So um, I I'd love your feedback down in the comments. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Paid $1.99 at the Goodwill and sold for $40 on eBay. It says, my March best was found at the Goodwill for $1.99 about two months ago and sold for 40 plus shipping. Thanks for all the good tips and informative videos. It is a signed Precious Moments Cheers to the Leader by Sam Butcher. And it looks like, it's right here. It, that's what the bottom looks like. It sold for $40. And I think I remember Christopher, Amazing Steals and Deals, talking about some Precious Moments that he sold. And this is his eBay store. I will link him down below. Major Bolo Finder. Go check out his store. He is incredible. Paid 50 cents each for these retired 2015 Target Spritz Easter Spring Birds from a local thrift store. Buyer offered me 80 for the set and I took it. Buyer has paid and is all in for 92.70. They were only listed a few days. Yeah, I keep hearing about these Target birds. I mean, they really don't seem that special, but apparently they are. This is what they look like. Hard to find 2015 Target Spritz Spring Easter Limited Edition Green with Pink Bow Bird. So that's the first one. And here is a pink one. 
and they really just look very common and very basic and I probably would have walked right past it. I'm wondering if there's any markings on them or how they, if they just used Google Lens to identify this. If anybody knows and has sold these Target um, Easter bird things, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. How do you know they're Target? Are they marked? I'm just really confused about this one, but I would like to find one. That's a great profit. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, YouTube channel, Piece of Scrap. And this is her YouTube channel. Paid $3 at the Goodwill, sold within days for full asking price of $69 shipped. It is an e new Easy 80s Various Artists 10 CD box set, Time Life, The Heart of Classic Rocks. Wow, that was a tongue twister. This is what it looks like. $3 into $69. This one also comes from Piece of Scrap. Definitely go over and check out her What Sold videos. She has really great sales. Sales? <laughs> sales. <laughs> you guys uh, informed me that I say brawl. Like, they got in a brawl for a brawl that you wear. I do say that. I am guilty. That is how I've always pronounced it. And I really didn't realize I did it until you guys said that. And I'm like, I do say brawl. L on the end. That's hilarious. Okay, so Piece of Scrap also sells clothing. And she got this for $3.75 at the Goodwill and accepted a best offer of 60, I'm sorry, $56 shipped on eBay. It's a Victoria's Secret pink medium zip sequin spell out jacket, sweatshirt jacket. Um, what does spell out mean? I saw somebody write that in my Facebook group. Spell out means that it is spelled out across the item, either across the front or the back. So it says pink, as you can see here. So that is what spell out. That is a great keyword to put in your title. Um, I did mention she is a Bolo Buddies member. That means she has joined my memberships on my YouTube channel at level two to be featured in this video. That means I pop up her YouTube channel and I link her down in the description below. I will have her YouTube channel and her eBay store down there. So definitely go check out all of the mentions in this video. And um, if you're interested in joining memberships, awesome. If you're not, no worries. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for perks. This one also came from Bolo Buddies member Antiques from Karen on YouTube. This is her channel. And it says, came from inherited estate, paid nothing. Listed for about a year, I think. I've been listing at least two items a day for a week now. And it is antique book set, 10 four-minute essays by Dr. Frank Crane, 1919, volumes one through 10, sold for $100. So she um, inherited her mother's estate. And it is like, it was an incredible estate, but it was a lot of work. And she documented all of this over on her YouTube channel. And she also has live sales over there. So I will link her down below. Definitely go and check her out and um, check out her journey. So um, her, she considers her mother to be a hoarder, but she was also into selling stuff. Purchased a 1990s Rockford Fosgate amp at an estate sale for $22, put it up on bid and sold for $650 plus shipping. Wow, $22 into $650. It's a Rockford Fosgate Punch 150 HD MOSFET 1990s vintage old school amplifier. I kind of like that old school in the title. That is an amazing bolo right there. Um, I probably would have walked right past it. I'll tell you who probably would have picked it up is my husband, but I don't know. You guys definitely be on the lookout. I paid $3.99 at the Goodwill and sold for full asking price of $109.99 plus shipping. It was listed for three months. I have heard of these. Spray Ground Backpack Rick and Morty Limited Edition Fun and Unique. And this is what it looks like. It is a backpack. $3.99 into $109.99. Let me know down in the comments, would you have picked up that backpack or would you have walked right past it? Jelly Cat, whoop, whoop. And I do have a video on Jelly Cat. It looks like this. You guys definitely should check that out. Some of them go for crazy money. 
Jelly Cat. Picked up this retired Jelly Cat at my unique thrift in New Jersey for $2. Sold for full asking price of $49 within a few days of listing. And it's a pink bunny. This is what it looks like. And I'm wondering if that was Mercari. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's Poshmark. I don't recognize this thumbnail, so I'm not sure what platform it sold on. Bought this at an estate sale for under a dollar. Sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price of $600. <gasps> estate sale, less than a dollar. Sold for $600. What? With free shipping. The circumstances of this find and the sale were too good to be true. I'm convinced it was a sign from my mom who has passed. She loved disco and disco culture and taught me everything I know. And this is what the dress looks like. It's a 70s vintage Houston IV dress or Houston. Maybe that's five is IV. Is that the number five? I'm not very good at that. Small purple lilac, one shoulder disco toga goddess. And that is what it looks like. I'm sorry. I don't have a bigger picture because it looks incredible. Um, Found these goblets just as they were being wheeled out for sale at a religious thrift store that I frequent. They were four for $11.99. I could tell these were special even from a distance. I beelined to the cart and scooped them up before anyone else could notice. They are a set of four hand-blown footed goblets and all in excellent used condition. Three of them still had the original stickers that read Interglass Made in Italy making it easy to research. Mondays is senior day at that store, so I scored an extra 10% off. Later at home, I looked up comps and found these are designed and trimmed in 14 karat gold on crystal. Comps were varied, but all high. I tried Courtney's strategy of a high auction, so I started it at $200 twice. Lots of watchers and plenty of lowball offers, but no bites. I lowered auction to start at 125 again. Lots of watchers and same lowball offers and no bites. I finally decided it would be worth it to wait for a buy it now at 125. It took three and a half months, but they sold for full asking price plus shipping this morning. Yay. Buyer was all in for 160 ish. Packing these fragile goblets for shipping was a challenge. Eek. But the profit margin to me was well worth the effort. Thank you, Courtney and Bolo Buddies, for so much education. All right, so I always tell you guys, if you can't find other items like it, start that auction high. Worst case, it doesn't sell. Then you can put it at a buy it now. And that's exactly what she did. She gave it a shot. She did the auction. I mean, you're out nothing. And it didn't work out. She didn't get any extra bids. But she held true to what she wanted to make on the item. And she got that um, full asking price. So great tip right there. And these are beautiful. Purchased a bunch of these annual Notre Dame ornaments for $2 each at a thrift store. Here is one of the higher priced ones I sold for $144. Sold some higher too. S have some remaining at lower prices, but expect will sell those closer to the holidays. 2003 University of Notre Dame brass ornament Christmas Eve at... Grotto Nativity, and this is what it looks like. So yes, anytime you can find ornaments that uh, come in sets or um, that feature something or limited edition, those can go for big money. This sold for $144. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Down in the description, I have a whole bunch of things that I use like WorthPoint, List Perfectly, um, if you want to check out my List Perfectly video, it is a tutorial. I actually show you how to use the catalog. I show you how to cross post directly from eBay to the other platforms. As I always say, more platforms, more eyes on your items, more sales. Um, definitely worth every penny. I've been using List Perfectly since 2019. Check out that video. If you like what you see, use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that is going to get you 30% off your first month. Also, um, I said worth point, um, I'm trying to think of the other things. Oh, I want to tell you guys, definitely check out Mercari and Poshmark. So, um, if you join with those links down below, you are going to get credits to shop Poshmark. You get $10 to shop when you join with my link and on Mercari, you get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop 
when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And then I also get money to shop when you guys do those things. So I appreciate it when you guys use my referral links. Most of them down there, you get some sort of benefit from using the referral link and it costs you nothing extra to use them. I do have um, eBay Partner Network that I use also. Again, it costs you nothing to use those links and it does help me. It helps me keep this channel going. Um, so thank you so much for those of you that use my links. I know a lot of you do, and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know how you found the channel and let me know which of these bolos was your favorite. Thanks for watching.